To be honest, there's nothing as serious as staying in a foreign country illegally. There's nothing as serious. You know, that basically means that you suffer for the rest of your life. Unless, unless you find out ways and means that you can use to adjust your status. But until that is done, the struggle becomes red. Hello everybody, welcome back to Akot TV and if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Akot and yes, 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 I am the immigration queen. <laughs> Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content now, my sons and daughters, in today's video. We are talking about how to get maintained status in Canada. So maintained status basically means that you are allowed to stay in Canada while you're waiting for IRCC to process your documents so you can stay longer, okay? So many a times we move into these countries and then for instance, you travel to Canada on a visitor visa and then it's beautiful, very beautiful. Or you travel to America, you get to that place, you meet other friends from your home country and then discussions begin. Six months is a very short period of time. So you're going to get two types of people. Some people will tell you to stay and you'll take care of your paperwork later. And on this other hand, people will be telling you to leave the country. And so you are torn in between. You don't know whether to leave or to stay. So then it's a whole sort of confusion. But if you're someone who's thinking about the future, if you're someone who's thinking about your freedom and it matters to you, then you always want to do the right thing. But sometimes, because of where we are coming from, things are so hard that you feel that really, this is going to be a better option for me. Let me just hide into the system and somehow I'm going to survive. Yes, you will survive. But then it's always going to stay in your head. If you make a mistake, if you're caught by police for any reason, for anything else, or maybe you get into a small car accident and then they want to check your status and then they call immigration people on you. So it's always going to be a worry for you, a concern, okay? A concern, so you're always worried. So me, what I say, what I tell everyone, especially my followers, my subscribers, my sons and daughters, and everyone who gets to watch my videos, but I really do appreciate you. Always try and make sure that you stay in status. Stay in status. And especially if you're in Canada on a temporary visa. You know, like you are a student or you are on a visitor visa. So this is what we are saying. There's what we call maintained status. Okay? So let's talk about how you can get your maintained status and stay in Canada. It's very simple. The first thing you want to make sure is be at par with your passport. You're always checking those dates. When you get into the country, when you pass through immigration, they're going to write for you, you know, when you're supposed to leave the country. And even besides that, it's in your passport. It's indicated on your visa when your visa expires. And so you want to check and make sure that at least before six months until you are visa expires you're doing what is expected of you okay so if you are on a student visa you're going to want to start with your application so that you give it some time you give it enough time because when you start processing your visa it's not going to take one day it's not going to take two days and now because of a lot of backlogs going on you just want to make sure that you start with your processing early so you don't get caught up with time because ideally under canadian immigration law it is a requirement that if you are in the country and then it's your time to leave, then you are expected to leave. But again, Canada, hmm? being a country which is so lenient to visitors, temporary residents, to citizens themselves, and to permanent residents, because the country is really so lenient, you are given measures. This is what you can do. I mean, this is what I am saying. If you are a student and you need to stay on, just make an application and then we will let you stay. We are not going to kick you out. Just make sure that you follow the rules and procedures, the regulations put in place. And information is all out there. You can search, you can check with these websites, you can talk to someone you believe in, and then you share information and you just vibe in it. And then you're always at peace because you're doing the right thing. So the thing is, if you let your temporary status expire, then you'll not be allowed to work until you restore that situation. And if you let it expire, it's going to take you even a longer time for you to be able to restore your situation. So it's better, hmm? you prevent yourself from all these headaches and just do your things in good time to do your research if you want to change your visa let's say you are a student visa and you want to change to a work visa or you are on a work visa and you want to change to a student visa so the thing is 
For instance, if you are changing from student to work visa, you will not start working until you get your visa, your work visa. If you're changing from work visa to student visa, then you will work until the day your work visa expires and then now you gel into your student visa status. So you're allowed to change your status. All the system is asking for here is start your process early so that you're not caught with time and then you're out of status and then issues and then immigration and then laws and rules and then it's just some kind of headache that you may want to avoid. You need to educate yourself on the conditions. And it's very simple. Information is outside there. Yes, we know. I know. And you know, there's a lot of fake information going out around. But you can do your due diligence and get the right information. If you're not sure about anything, there's always people you can talk to. And just get in touch. And, you know, just get information and make sure the information you're getting is a proper one. The main thing you want to keep in mind is, if you are on maintained status, you, you're trying to maintain your status then to be on the safer side do not leave the country don't leave the country sort out your status issue and then you can travel to wherever you want to travel to but until your status and everything about your status is in place never leave the country because if you leave there's 80 percent chance that you may not be allowed into the country again because you are applying for this visa it's not out yet you're trying to maintain your status and then you're flying out of the country they're going to ask you why are you trying to maintain your status and yet you're flying out of the country i mean the whole idea is your plan is to stay in the country so why are you flying out so you don't want to get into those complications so just stay in the country until your status and everything that has to do with your status is taken care of and you have your documents once you've done your application it's going to take you some time waiting for the IRCC decision but when the decision is out it's always happy 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 then you're free to move to wherever you want to you're free to do anything you want in the country okay then the last thing I want you to keep in mind is to be able to prove your status if you're a student or if you're on work permit then you need to be able to prove your status so you'll have made payments to IRCC to change your status so if you're in school your school administration or your boss may ask hey I can see according to the documents you are almost out of status what's going on then you can show them the receipt that hey I have paid I'm just waiting for the IRCC to bring back my documents and then it's simple so always have that proof once you have made your payments keep those receipts with you that you can use for proof whenever you're asked for them sometimes you're even traveling or you're going to another city to just you know be around have those documents with you because if you're stopped by the police and they start checking your documents they will notice that the dates the dates are coming by and then they will ask you so if they ask you that have those documents with you at any given time for safety and just to avoid issues me i like being in a situation whereby i just avoid issues so it is as simple as that. Make sure that your status is maintained. Check your passport. Check the dates. Check your visa. Always, if you're thinking you're someone who could forget, write it somewhere and put it on the wall in your room so it's a reminder. But if you have the month, an idea of the month and the year, then you should be good to go. I hope you've gotten value out of watching this video. If you have any question, any comment, any concern, be sure to comment down below and I'll respond to you as soon as it is humanly possible. But if you do not have anything to say, leave for me a red hat down there, not a black one, a red one that will make me look so good on YouTube. And then other people who are looking for information, just like yourself, will have an opportunity to get this content remember sharing is caring and the way we normally do it here and without forgetting we're keeping it positive vibes only and i'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one bye